Hello and welcome again, folks, Christianity in Africa. Christianity in Africa is in serious trouble. And I am here for it because this is what's going to happen, unfortunately. A lot of these men who preach Christianity in Africa, they've gone for years lying to people and telling people things that aren't true. They weren't true, aren't true, was never going to be true. And so now they're starting to be infighting between preachers. They're starting to fight one another. But this particular one took my interest because this African pastor, this Nigerian pastor, he invited Benny Hinn to an event in New York. And so part of the event that they were doing, he decided we'll have a sit down and talk to Benny and complain to Benny. Benny Hinn that has his own issues. When a pastor has to resort to complaining to Benny about his fellow pastors in Nigeria, you know that there's fire on the mountain. You know that there is serious trouble for Christianity. I am here for it. I am here for it. Well, guys, before we go into it, please, if you are not subscribed, make sure you're subscribed. Give the video a thumbs up. And for those of you who are returning, watching the videos, I thank you. I thank you, thank you, thank you. Right. I don't know how to put it in. I, I just noticed that it doesn't happen in America. But we have a situation in Africa among pastors. It's, it's toxic. It's, um, you cannot have communion with the Holy Spirit in that atmosphere. It's very, I don't know how to put it in words. Like, it's, 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 like this is fighting this, this is fighting this, this pastor is fighting this. You, you see the response. It's, it's, you just want to run away because it can affect your communion. Because everybody's fighting everybody, everybody. And they are fighting people and they bring scriptures to support the fight. It's, um, so he's trying to say that this, what he's going through, what he's experiencing is not happening in America, only in Nigeria. Pastors going after each other. It's bothering him so much. But these people who are coming for him, they come armed with Bible verses. It's a fight of, I know the Bible better than you know the Bible. You're fake. No, you're fake. This is the kind of fighting going on. But all with Bible verses. But hey, I guess Benny would be the one to solve our problems. Everybody's fighting. It's more like we're giving the world content against the church. So we have people, you hear a lot of people say, I don't know the church anymore. This pastor is fighting this, this is fighting this. If they can't, live in peace, I'm not coming. So it's, it's, um, you understand what I'm saying? It's a problem, pastor. It's, it's everywhere. Every, so sometimes, um, I, I, I was a victim. I, at the point, I had to respond to some people, you know, and these people are attacking fathers. They don't care about anybody. Yeah. When he says he had to respond, oh, he went on the offensive. He's always on the offensive. Very aggressive, this man. Please do not be fooled because he's sitting there in his white suit, looking very gentle. He's usually on the offensive. But now he's having issues with other people when he is usually on the offensive, cursing at people and saying things on his stage that he shouldn't be saying. Attack everybody. They attack. It's not just a problem of doctrine. You know, they are doctrinal disputes and differences. But the level of, of toxicity, how, what, what is, what will the minister do? Because many people now, you know, people taking sides. You know, like I'm a Paul, I'm a Paulus, you know, everyone is taking sides. And the, the, the level of um, attacks, attacks, you, you can't even go to the social media, attacks. This pastor is on attack. This one is attack. This one is attack. Is this God's plan or is this Christianity that every minister will fight themselves? It's so bad that in South Africa, a pastor was gone down on the pulpit. Another pastor hired people to gone down. A pastor. And sometimes when you come, you tell them that these things are not right. They bring the scripture. Mm. Now, when somebody brings the scripture, what do you do? So, and my fear, my fear, Pastor Ben, is for the younger generation. Because they don't understand. They just take everything. They don't pray. They don't have a relationship with the Holy Spirit. They just believe, fight the pastor. Fight the pastor. So many pastors now are in pain. Because there are pastors in this place whose churches are empty. Yeah, yeah. Because another pastor. So this fighting between you all pastors, Apostle Johnson, Suleiman, your main concern is the younger generation because they don't pray. They don't commune with your so-called God. And so you're concerned for them because they're going to buy this lie, hook, line, and sinker, or they will buy the very thing that you are trying to avoid. If that's the issue, then what exactly is your problem? If the young people are going to listen to your adversary, Hey, what's wrong with that? If you were preaching the truth, Apostle Joseph Suleiman, you wouldn't be worried. He's saying about, oh, they're talking about the fathers of faith in Nigeria. No one cares about those fathers. If those fathers have lied to people, they need to be called out. So no, 
fathers what's that got to do with you and why is it bothering so much but guys this fighting between these pastors it is wonderful it is exposing christianity it is exposing the lies that they have told people for a long long time those lies that they thought they were hiding so well before oh there is nowhere for it to hide anymore it's now coming out to the open has torn down their pocket, said all kinds of things about them. And these things, it's like, um, is this Christianity? Is this what God expects of his servants? Should I answer? Yes, sir. Number one, number one, it's not Christianity. Oh, it's not Nowhere Christianity. Near it. Okay, what is it yeah, then, is not Benny? what God wants from his servants or any in the church. Today, the church has reached a very dangerous place because oh. doctrines of devils has penetrated the church. And oh, for those of you who do not know, Benny was recently exposed by Mike Winger millions of view that video it was the total annihilation of benny Hinn. if you watch that video and you come away still thinking that this guy is genuine i don't know what to say to you this guy has been exposed time and time and time again to be a fraud to be a con man and i was just silly man who's to lay it all on his feet just lay it all <laughs> and it's bringing division and those attacks, yes, they're serious and they're real, but I believe we can avoid them from affecting us. There really is a place of quiet rest, and it's near the heart of Jesus. It's the only place where we can feel that uh, protection from it. I've been attacked viciously over the years, mm -hmm. and sometimes you want to fight back. That's not the answer. The answer is to run to the Lord, because when you do, he fights your battle. The Lord. And he's sad. What I don't understand, you're running to the Lord. When your members have issues, right, they come to you, you tell them to run to the Lord, and now you have issues with fellow pastors. What happened to come and let us reason together? Pastors, Nigerian pastors, African pastors, what happened to come, let us reason together? That's what you tell people. But look at you guys now fighting to the extent that you have to go and report yourselves to Benny Hinn. Con man, Benny Hinn. Silences, he silences the enemies. And not only silences the enemy, but God Almighty, by his amazing power, when we touch his heart, as we should, and only fellowship can do that, if we touch his heart as we should, God will not only take care of our enemies, he, he may just remove some of them. <laughs> He's been known to do that. So, Did you hear that? Benny is saying, just lay it on the Lord. Go and lay it on the Lord. And if you do that, the, their God, these men, their God, their imaginary God, has been known to remove people. And if you know what that means, it means to take people out. This is Benny. This is what Benny is talking about. The man you go to, to complain about you and your fellow pastors. And this is what he is saying on that stage. Uh, and we don't know how he removes them. Sometimes they just disappear. He removes people. For no reason. They're gone. But he said, I will build my church. And the gates of hell will not prevail. Oh. Young man, uh, no, no need for, for pictures right now. We're, this is important, please, if you don't mind. So the, the gates of, of hell cannot prevail. But there's a, there's a secret here. There's a key, I believe. Now, sometimes ministers, when they are bombarded too much, they kind of give up. And I've seen some of them give up, uh, sadly, and walk away. A pastor out of Dallas, a very big church, uh, came under attack and decided to leave the ministry at a 5,000-seat uh, church in Dallas, very powerful anointing on him. And I called him one day. I said, why are you leaving? He said, I can no longer handle the, the attacks against me. Mm. And he just walked away. Mm. What a tragedy, because people like him. We need people like him. And very few from that age are still even around. But Benny, is it not better for him to walk away than to stay and pretend that everything is okay with his 5,000 sitter congregation? It is better that he is honest, which, Benny, you don't have. You don't have any iota of honesty. You and Johnson Suleiman, your counterpart, both of you do not have any iota of being honest with people so yes i'm glad that that pastor saw sense and decided to leave now the newer generation has to deal with their problems that, that, that are rising against them and social media uh, well it has pluses and negatives and the negatives are very serious okay and the problem mm -hmm. is uh, it has empowered these people but i believe with all of my heart what the lord said he said i will build my church Paul the apostle uh had a problem in corinth that God is still building his church. I will build my church. He's been over 2,000 years. Their God is still building. Meanwhile, the African pastors are busy catfighting.
with each other while their God is still busy building. With the, with the church and the divisiveness. But, but he made a powerful statement. He said, I am determined when he came there. He said, I'm determined to know nothing among you except Christ crucified. And that yeah. message of the cross fixed it all up. Uh, and later, cross. we know from history, 25,000 people got saved under his ministry in Corinth. And that is a big number of people to get saved in those days in any city. So he comes to that city with all the divisions and all the troubles and makes a decision to preach Christ crucified. I think if we come back to the message of the cross, rather than attacking back, just preach the cross, I think God will defeat those enemies. <laughs> That's what I would do. Not only would I seek the Lord, I would change my message. I would focus on the work of Calvary. And I would keep that in front of the people. And while the cross matters, what does it mean? What, what did Jesus mean by carrying the cross? It's a sacrificial death. And I think we are losing our young people today. So pastor, truly, whether it's you or any pastor sitting here, I would highly recommend that you begin to minister the cross to the people of God. And that will bring victories unheard of in their hearts and their lives. And I. So Benny says the solution is to preach the cross. <laughs> to preach the cross. The same cross that is the cause of all the issues. The same cross that the Savior was nailed to, where he sacrificed himself to himself for a for something that he created. For something that he created himself. That is the solution to the problem of African pastors fighting each other. Well, guess what, guys? I love it. And this is a start of many videos because these pastors, they haven't stopped fighting each other. You think that uh, Johnson Suleiman will take the advice that's been given to him by Benny Hinn? You think he's going to take it? The answer is no. He still will be going on the offensive. He's still trying to put his head in matters that do not concern him, right? But I'm here for it, exposing the lies of these preachers, the African preachers. Right, so guys, I will catch you in the next video. Thank you for watching this one. And African pastors, wow, these people, their fights. It's only going to get worse. And we will be here to watch it all go down. There's still sin in the world. Christians sin every single day. So what? Did Jesus sacrifice himself for?